it's Ann from the Useless Crafter. So today we are going to be doing the Santa tray. Um, it's the one where, uh, dear Santa, here's a, here's your drink, here's your cookie, and for Rudolph. I bought these trays last year and I never got around to doing it. Um, they're from the Dollar Tree, so it's just a little plastic tray, a um, dollar. So it gives us a smaller surface area to work with. So when I did cut these, it was a little bit smaller than I would like. And I would say for those that sell these, props to you because this, just the weeding, um, I think I would have given up on the project if I had to do more than one. <laughs> this one's just for my daughter for the video to show you. I think it would be a lot easier to do it on those placemats, the cloth ones, and do everything with HTV. You know, I definitely prefer working with HTV because I feel like it's um, more forgiving. It cuts more easily, like it cuts more delicate things without it ripping. It's easier to weed, in my opinion, than it is to weed um, adhesive vinyl. And then applying it is a lot easier too. So, um, but I did do this in vinyl. I also picked, the, you know, I picked regular vinyl and glitter vinyl. So if you have the maker, um, I cut my glitter vinyl on metallic vinyl with the default setting, not default, but with more pressure. And so it cuts one time and it weeds like butter. So that is definitely the thing, but we'll see how it is to apply it because, um, you know, it's a difficult material to work with. Anyway, first thing is I want to wipe down this thing with rubbing alcohol. So let's clean that up. And I apologize for the lights. I mean, this plastic is just, I've turned off as many of the lights as I could. Um, but I know I can still see the, the reflection, but anyway, just a little bit, just to make sure it's clean and gets off all of our oils and everything so that this will stick well, because I am only going to do this one time. <laughs> I already have a feeling that I'm not going to like this project. So, okay. So again, I think also with the placemat, um, it would probably be the same size, but you would be able to go from side to side and top to bottom, which means everything can be bigger. Um, Cause like I lost a little piece of this. I don't know if you can see it, just one. I was so close to having a perfect weed, but it is so thin and delicate. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to transfer it on here without issues. So we shall see. And I just realized that I also have glitter vinyl, so I'm gonna need strong, um, strong grip transfer tape. So I have that here. So the strong one is purple, but you see it also says strong grip. But of course, if you happen to have a piece right here, you're not gonna realize it. You need to make sure that if it's purple, it's only for your glitter uh, vinyl. And then the gray ones are for the regular ones. So I have both. This one obviously is used. I save them and I reuse, reuse, reuse. So, all right. First thing is, I feel like the easiest thing to put down is the Dear Santa, because we know it has to go up here. So here it is, and it's gonna go like this. Um, so let's get our regular transfer tape, because it's regular white vinyl, so I'm gonna do it like this, and I didn't get all of it, so. And you can see how like, I, this is already two pieces, I'm adding a third piece of vinyl and it's totally fine. So you wanna get that down and you can use either one of these, this one or the bigger one, obviously, whichever one you prefer. But you wanna make sure that you get it really down. Now, once you see the image, you'll see why I am doing this really, really well, because it has these little outlines, thin, thin outlines that are super pretty that I really wanted, but I wanna make sure it's gonna transfer, so. All right. When you're pulling it up, you want to lift this up and you want to pull your paper, hold your paper all the way back onto itself. So that way you're not fighting with the adhesive. It's laying down and this is actually going really well. I don't know, knock on wood. <laughs> all right, so there we have it. It is going, there's a, it's kind of curved at an angle and it goes up. So it's gonna be a little difficult to apply maybe. Um, so I wanna pull it really tight out like this so that I get it down and then I'm gonna just put it down 
and then I'm gonna take my fingers and kind of make put it down so see how I'm still pulling this up that way you don't get any bubbles I'm pushing it down as I go along so all right hopefully that was a good applied piece of vinyl <laughs> and then you want to push it down all right so I think I think we have it down well same thing when you're pulling it up pull it onto itself and you, you're gonna be tempted to just pull it straight up really, really quickly, but sometimes you're gonna rip your vinyl. So just go, take your time, pull it back, make sure that all the pieces are sticking. Yay, and look how cute that is. I mean, the little outlines I think are so, so cute. Okay, so Dear Santa, let's see, what else does it have? Oh, it has the little, squiggly lines over here and here that is so i'm going to cut this apart and it's in silver glitter vinyl so i'm going to want my strong <laughs> my strong transfer tape so i'm going to cut off a piece here And you're really going to want to burnish it because um, glitter vinyl is difficult. So you just want to get it down, make sure it's sticking. All right, let's see. Oh, and it's stuck. All right. So here's our little pieces. I'm going to want it here. That one's not wanting to stick, so I'm just going to hit it some more with this. And it looks like it's sticking. Okay, good. All right, dear Santa, perfect. Um, in the corner is gonna be a carrot. So I'm gonna put this down, I'm gonna reuse this. I'm just gonna put it down here. Here's the regular one, I'm gonna get my carrot. I mean, look at the carrot. I don't know if you could see how thin this is up here. And this is a very, very cute design. Um, I did though, once I realized I was putting it on this, um, on a smaller surface, I got rid of some things. Um, so if you were following in design space, you're going to be wondering where the presents went, the sleigh, uh, Rudolph. I took all of that out so that I can make everything else bigger and easier to work with. So, all right. So on this one, we're going to pull it back. All right. So this was super, super easy. Um... Let's see, what do I want to do? I'm gonna angle it a little bit and see how I'm pulling it up. I'm gonna slowly push down with the finger so that I avoid any bubbles. Awesome, <laughs> easy peasy. All right, so um, let's Put down, oops, where's my other wreath? Oh, here it is. So this one is the cookie, and then this one's the drink. Um, so I'll put it down in this corner. So we're gonna need a bigger piece. All right. 
Um, the other thing that I do, um, and I've been doing it this whole year, is I have a blade for each type of material. So I have a blade for vinyl, a blade for um, HTV, a blade for cardstock, and I think one for glitter cardstock. And the reason why I do that is because glitter cardstock really dulls your blade quickly. And so, um, I mean, I'll replace it, of course, but I want my H my like HTV blade, it will last forever if I only got HTV on it. And so it'll stay really sharp so that I'll never have a bad cut. So that has been working out really well for me. And I almost feel like in this one with the glitter vinyl, I. I don't even think you can see how delicate some of these areas are and it cut and it weeded so nicely that I just can't believe it. And I don't know, right now everything seems to be working. <laughs> knock, on, knock on wood. Uh oh, okay, so I lost that piece. I'm gonna see if I can get him down. All right, so that one came down. Oops, I lost another guy right here. Not bad. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one in this corner. And again, I'm gonna hold it kind of, you know, tight, taut, and put it at an angle. So I have this down, and I'm just going to slowly go around so that I don't get any bubbles. And I just put all my fingers down right here, so I'm gonna wanna wipe that. Okay, so let's pull this up and see how well we did. So this one came up and I feel like, is that where I had the issue to begin with? No, I didn't. Um, it tore off a little bit, but you can't see it. I'm not gonna sweat it. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it as is, because it's so delicate, There's I can't move it without ruining it. So my options are either just to pull off this little vine or leave it as is. So I'm gonna leave it as is. Um, I'm gonna have my little paper and I'm just gonna, this is the same one that had the alcohol, rubbing alcohol on it. I'm just gonna rub off a little bit here. Okay, so that's one down. Let's put this one on. See how will we do with this one? Oh my gosh, it's my lucky day. Okay, so this one I'm gonna put closer up to here. And again, I'm gonna apply from this side down. So I've got this side down, slowly putting it, making my way around, perfect. Okay, 
one little leaf didn't fall down, but I'm just going to leave it. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we have that. Let's see what else we have here. This little white part goes with, oh, it didn't come off. That's okay. It's a little thing that goes under the D and the E. I'm tossing it. Okay. Um, Let's move out all these pieces that we don't need. All right, so here, let's, I think the next thing we need to do is, here is our favorite cookie. Here is a drink in case you're thirsty. Oh, and then the love Charlotte at the bottom. So I think we could do that one. That's gonna go, okay, let's see. And then Rudolph's carrot. So Rudolph's carrot, I think I'm gonna put it like this and then the arrow coming up. So the arrow is gonna go like that. So that goes with that one. So before we apply it, we just wanna make sure that you have all your pieces so that you don't get stuck later and have to recut. So here's a drink in case you're thirsty. It's going that way. So I have one more arrow that I need to go. My little Christmas tree. Okay. I'm missing an arrow. No way. Where could it be? Oh, here it is. Um, okay, so this one, here's our favorite cookie. I'm gonna put it down and it's gonna go like this. All right, so all my arrows are accounted for. I'm wondering. Nope, I'm good. Okay, so let's do Rudolph's first. So Rudolph is in regular white. So let's see, here we go. So this one has the apostrophe mark. We wanna make sure that we don't lose that. All right, so I think that's good. Okay. I'm gonna put it off like this. carrot Okay, where's my, here's my little arrow. It's gonna go like this. So I wanna make sure this one is with my purple transfer tape because it's glitter. So I'm gonna cut off a piece. So I think so far I would say my most difficult thing to do so far has been weeding just the regular white vinyl. So maybe it's just my vinyl. You never know. All right, so this one I'm gonna point this way. These small things are so easy to apply once you've applied the big words and the wreath. There we go, oops, what do I have here? Oh, this arrow. So maybe I'm gonna want this, okay. So let's do this one first.
Okay, before you apply it, I always just check this. Okay, one of my eyes didn't. Hmm. Oh, the drink, okay. There's a little heart that didn't transfer over. And then you want to flip it over just to read it and to make sure that everything is there. So right now everything is there. I'm going to put it down. And because they're individual letters, they won't really bubble up. It's when you have your cursive, like one long thing. So as you can see, I'm not as careful putting these down because you don't really get bubbles when they're the small individual letters. Okay. All right, so that's down. Let's put down our favorite cookie. everything transferred over. Yep, here's our favorite cookie. I'm gonna put it over here. Yay! All right, so let's get our arrows down. This arrow goes here. Purple. And I'm definitely going to let this rest and kind of um, adhere before I mess with it. Um, that way this, the vinyl really gets a chance to um, stick itself. So don't wash it, don't do anything for like, I usually let it rest for two whole days. Okay. And you see how that one, um, it's not pulling off completely. Just go from a different angle and you can see that little piece of paper was sticking to it. All right. So here's our favorite cookie. Man, it's working so well today. Look at that, that was easy peasy. All right, so what's left? I have the Love Charlotte, so let's put that down. So Love Charlotte. I'll do the Charlotte first. That'll give us more room to work with. I may have to cut that off because it was so thin and it's gotten so much that last little swirl right there I might just have to cut it off like I did with the tea over here it didn't uh, weed well and I just had to get rid of it All right, let's see Yeah, I don't like the way that looks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take 
Um, where is it? Here it is, my knife blade. And I'm just going to slice it off right there. Let me see if you can see it really close. All right, see this little piece? It was just too much and it wasn't there. You can't even tell. All right, so Charlotte's down. Let's see, so love needs to go above it. And shoot, there was a little apostrophe mark on one of these papers. Oh, or a comma, I should say. Is this it? No. Oh man, don't tell me I need to cut it later. I should have kept better track of it. <laughs> The little comma for love, comma, is gone. Ugh. That is just the worst thing ever. Okay. I'm going to put down love. So let's get that down. apostrophe more, or the comma <laughs> I just want to cry okay now all these little flourishes I was gonna put them in between so there's like little stars and hearts and stuff like that um, these little lines I don't think they really belong so I'm not gonna put that down but I'm gonna put those little things down um, and I almost feel like I'm gonna put it down not transferring it, but just picking it up like this. Because they're so delicate, I don't know if they would survive transferring. And we're almost done. There's a little Christmas tree that I'm debating putting down. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. It feels a little out of place just because we don't have anything but the words. So I'm going to leave it. I'm not going to add it. Just a few more dots and then we're done. And I think it looks really, really good. If I don't say so myself. <laughs> uh, let's see, let's put that there. All right, I have two more circles, two more little dots left. Don't know if I have a spot for it though. I feel like it looks pretty good as is. All right, so here we have it. Dear Santa, here's a drink in case you're thirsty. Um, oh man, hold on, I see a little, the E's not weeded. Let me see if I can get that out. 
I got it up there we go okay so here's a drink in case you're thirsty Rudolph's carrot here's our favorite cookie love Charlotte missing my comma <laughs> that's somewhere here and it's gonna drive me insane but anyway let me know uh, feedback comments questions if you want to see your own um, special project for Christmas or for any time. I'm totally here. All right. Thanks guys.